making thousands, can you blame them? If it was legal, they would be out of business. Get it, guys! Say we arrested one or two, you can guarantee there'll be maybe another 10 available. For three months, we followed a county line from Liverpool to North Wales, with teenage drug runners moving heroin and crack hundreds of miles every week. I was taking it because I feel like I'm full of cold, but after this, I feel normal. Just taking it to feel normal. I've just come to have a look. When you know you're here. You've got that there in case you get taxed, haven't you? Then last year, this teenager, who we can't name, arrived from Liverpool. He was caught with thousands of pounds worth of illegal drugs. Well, I never thought this would happen. So when you were getting the free crack, you weren't stealing? No, I had a life, nice life. Now I have to go out begging like a little dirty little rat. Skint. You're never going to get rid of the drug problem. In Clandidno, PC Carl Barlow's priority is to protect users and children. In the top flat, suspect some people cuckooing at the moment. Day and night, we watch Carl visiting heroin and crack users. Just come through here, check there's no one in the... Uh... Let, let, let... Oh, let him off in the room. Carl's worried that there are young teenagers in these flats now selling crack and heroin. No, no, no. Right, you ask any of the users if I ever locked them up for having a personal bits on them. What are we talking crack here or heroin or both? Both. Because what because what because what what's the point? <laughs> There's no way that I would be allowed access into these properties without a warrant and stuff like that if they knew that I was going to go in there and lock them all up for possessing personal use heroin and crack cocaine. You two lads are being detained under section twenty And this is why to safeguard children. How old are you? 16. 16, right. From Liverpool. Well, don't come slandered, no selling drugs. Because so. I need to get in those addresses to check that there's no kids in there. And if I'm not letting the address, I can't do that. They're all from deprived backgrounds generally. They've either been in care or, you know, on like at risk registers. They're constantly missing from homes. Then there's the violence. Mark Mason was chased in a car, then stabbed to death in Rill by a Liverpool gang. In Connors Quay, teenager Matthew Cassidy from Merseyside was murdered by a county line's rival. Nobody here? No. Just have a quick look, yeah? Thank you. Police are worried about Kate, at risk of being cuckooed. Nobody's been here. Would you tell us if they have? Of course it would. These people need to be told to stay away from me. I don't know what they've done in the past. I certainly <sighs> not hurt anyone yes. or sold any drugs <clears throat> to anybody. It's a horrible thing to do. But it is terrifying. And it's not fair. No, it's not. Every single ground floor window, apart from the door, has been put through. And the biggest concern is that the people who have done this will come back and do it again and again.
it is never ending. So what needs to change? It's difficult. The only way you would stop the drug supplies from, you know, the OCGs and the, the county line stuff like that is if the drugs were, were legalised. Right, you're going to have to go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I think...